watching Rendezvous with Smita Kumar at MediCircle. Today we are pleased to meet Aparna Mishra. She is a mentor, a business coach, and she has also founded a global magazine, Women Shine. She is also the founder of CWE Hub, a, a community especially for women entrepreneurs where they can accelerate their growth by extensive networking and sisterhood. So hi, Aparna. Welcome to MediCircle. Hi, Smita. So to begin with, you have launched CWE Hub, which is a community especially for women entrepreneurs, Cafe Biz Women Entrepreneurs Hub. So tell us more about it. Uh, in fact, CWE Hub was, uh, I launched it, uh, I think it's now it's been uh, one, uh, two years would be like, we'll be completing two years in December. So this was uh, like it's uh, primarily it was focusing just uh, women of Uttar Pradesh, right? But now we are expanding it to other states as well. The focus was like uh, when I was working with startups and all, no, we were I was into mentoring and all. See, I used to see the main the area which is lacking is the women. They are not aware of things and all. They don't know how to go about it. Although they were, this thing is for male startups as well. But you know, these women, they are, you know, be right now also, they are not very organized in their businesses. They have not even got registered themselves. They don't know what are the terms like if you talk about MSME or UA and they don't know about those things. So I thought, let me just uh, build up this community so that they are aware of things. They know because they are into their businesses, but they don't know how to market their products. So that's why I thought, let me create something wherein we can do hand holding with them. And then there are so many women around. So like in my community, there's one CA also, there's one lawyer, lawyer as well. There is one doctor as well. There's some, somebody who's a homemaker, somebody who's, a, who's into e-commerce, somebody who's an IT professional. So it's like a buyer and seller community together, right? We can, you can get all, if you want to register yourself, you are the, the CA is there. If you want any legal, some registrations for, the, for your company, for your product, then a lawyer is there. So that's why this community is created so that everybody is getting benefit out of each other. Okay. So that was the purpose of creating this community. That's, that's really great. I think they can uh, have networking sessions in the community yeah. itself and yeah. grow within the community itself rather than going uh, out of the community and searching for some people for these exactly. things. Exactly. This is really, yeah, really yeah. great. That is the purpose behind it. Yeah, we have BNI meets here in Mumbai where these yeah. kind of sessions are there. They are actually... Um, actor, I mean, uh, scheduled at six o'clock, seven o'clock in the morning. We go there, we have these networking sessions where everybody introduces themselves and then they sh uh, talk about their work. They, there are so many people like, I remember I attended something around Diwali and I was looking for some corporate gifts for uh, gifting purposes and I found three people, two out of yeah. them were women entrepreneurs and being a woman entrepreneur, I preferred them and I went with them they were into extensive i mean exclusive chocolate making in some very okay. great uh, uh, merchandise especially for corporate gifting so it was great to have these networks i think something like this uh, is being done there aparna and it is really really great so mm -hmm. um, you have been a business coach to micro and small uh, entrepreneurs especially women entrepreneurs and you have also coached a lot of startups in different domains like sales and marketing uh, strategy operations mm -hmm. so and also you have been a posh enabler uh, and you have been empaneled with the ministry of uh, child and women health development so you have so many cats and you're wearing a lot of hats so which role do you enjoy the most and you know uh, all these roles are never at the same time no so you keep okay. juggling your hats together all the time and whichever comes you start doing so you just wear that hat and you just do it so it's not you know uh, because in fact posh and Abra, i got this certification done during this pandemic only because you know this time was the best time wherein you can plan so many things. You can do learn so many things. Yes. So I launched my magazine during this time. I got few certification during this time only, which, which will really help me in coming future. So, and then being less, since I'm into uh, this entrepreneurship the last 11 years, but yes, like two, three years were basically into consulting. So I enjoy consulting startups. I enjoy helping because these are my core domain areas in sales, marketing and operations and marketing. And these are the areas where they are really weak uh, in their businesses, no? 
like in 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 terms of like how to get customers, how to market your products, how to organize your like manpower, everything in the organization. So these are things which really one lack in their systems. So that's how I thought. Let me just uh, focus on these four go to core domain areas only, and then help. So it depends. Whatever comes first, like where it, I just wear that hat and move forward. <laughs> that way. Uh, you are also a mentor with any and in startup India, and have mentored startups from Mumbai, Hyderabad, and yeah, Bangalore yeah. at the Economics Times Catapult Change Marker Crowd Market Fund. So, do you feel India has the potential? to become a self-dependent country because we have got indigenous brains, we have got yeah. startups, we have got good technology, people rely on Indian brains. So what is your take on that? See, like if you uh, see maybe two years back, three years back and the situation current, it's, at, it's a tremendous change, no? If the graph is increasing. So day by day, people are like, they are uh, more, uh, activated these students you know after completing their studies and all now they are not moving into job roles they're moving into startup roles and all so yeah. it is a great sign and people are moving towards it and then thanks to the government of various states there are various government policies where they are helping startups building up incubations and all even the colleges are focusing on universities are focusing on getting incubators inside so that's really helping uh, people and then since these things are there then of course there's a whole Ocean of mentors around there who, can, who are there to help startups and all. And now see, you must have seen uh, every time some some good startup is coming up. Uh, they are either and you know there's so many pitching events are happening. Even the startup India is also having so much of pitching things in various sector. It, it can be a green tech or a net tech or a pin tech. So so many things have come up. And actually now the focus is there to create more startup to create more employment so that the startups can generate the more livelihoods, no more employment opportunities. So that's the main idea behind this. So it's really good sign, uh, tremendous sign. Because, uh, that day there was some session which I was doing with one, some university online only. And there are people, they have really, they're just studying, you know, these ladies, the girls are just studying and they really want to know, I want to start this. How do I do that? I want to start that. So there are, they are coming up with now ideas. Earlier we, when we were studying, we used to, we have never thought of doing any business at that point of time. It was just study, then some other uh, professional course and then job. Some, it was like that, no? Now that road has totally changed <laughs> once you complete your uh, studies. Even during studies, you think of doing something. So when, once you finish your studies, you really jump into it and you start that. That's so a that scenario is totally I think that's really a good welcome change which is happening. I think when we were starting, yes. we had very limited options and startup yeah. was not that uh, famous word. Now yeah. if you are having some idea, if you have some problem first and if your startup idea can cater to that problem, I think then that is a wonderful solution and if you get some good investment, that, that's the best uh, thing. nothing like have. it. Yes, yes, yeah. <laughs> Um, tell us about your experience of being a founder of a global e-magazine that is Women Shine. So I think it is Women Shine. I think it is more about women itself. But please tell us. <laughs> no, it's it's actually so many women in this. Okay. <laughs> See, this, uh, this is basically uh, I started this during pandemic only. Oh. Though I had thought of uh, starting it two years back, but then something was something or the other was happening, so I couldn't get time to start that. But thanks to this pandemic, you know, this pandemic has been, it's a blessing to some and a curse to many, right? Yeah. So it is a blessing to me wherein I thought of doing, uh, like, I thought why to waste time on various other things. Let's start something. So then I thought, why not just uh, start whatever I thought of uh, many years back. So then I spoke to my website person. I said, I want to do this. Now you tell me how much time I need you know, for various things. So then we, she gave me a date. Okay, if you launch on this date, then I thought, then I, then we did the reverse calculation. So now we have so much of time left. Let's start working on that. And then, yeah, it's uh, just five editions old, but yes, it will take time because, you know, this is, uh, it is not, uh, the revenue model is very difficult in this. No, you can't, you, unless until you reach to a certain count mm. of subscribers, people would not uh, think, but yes, I am getting good traction. Uh, by the God's grace, now we have crossed 3,000 subscribers, around 3150 are there. So yes, it is picking up, I think, due to the amazing content and the wonderful write-ups we have. Uh, and you know, it's not a, like an entertainment magazine, it's not like that. 
it it talks about uh, it is in sometimes some articles are very inspirational wherein you can learn from those articles some are like if, if you talk about celebrity then you love, want to learn about her right informative as well and of course there are various articles on health uh, relationship then some travel journeys are there so you know when you read about some other travel adventure you really get excited about so it's a mix big bag of so many things it is not just an entertainment magazine it's an inspiring magazine as well so yes i am trying to uh, do justice with this uh, every month something or the other is there yeah and you know there are so many uh, what i have never realized that there is so much of problems no when you uh, run a magazine e magazine yes, or kind of problems that i have not even foreseen before but now i am facing it but yes enjoying it sailing it through it so yeah it's really uh, and then at, when i thought of starting it i thought let me do it on a global level because you know then because there are so many indians uh, living in other countries why not take them and there are so many people on my friend list as well so i thought and they are doing so well in their own fields so i thought let's create a global magazine do a global positioning maybe on a long run it will really uh, uh, Prove it right that I have really the thought of correct. <laughs> it's a global magazine, yes. so that's how I'm trying to do that. That's that's really great to hear from you. I think you're doing a wonderful job. So from Team Medi Circle, we wish you all the best for all your future. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank, <laughs> thank you so you. much for coming on uh, to our platform and sharing your insightful views with us. Because we want more and more women of the brothers to join and showcase their journey. See, it's not about only successes. it is lot about the learning the failures absolutely, which we absolutely. we we through when we we have been through all these things then we only yeah. understand the true meaning of success that yes one day absolutely. we have been somewhere yeah. all difficult even yeah. i have been through that and still i'm learning and still learning yeah, yeah you know it's always uh, yeah yeah it's always a learning you 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 can never say that i have learned enough every day is a new learning every day is a success every sec other second is a failure success all together in a day no so yeah but we really enjoy because we have opted this route so we don't want to regret that we have opted this <laughs> route to us so yeah the passion has to be there otherwise it Absolutely. will not yield those results otherwise so it was really yeah. great talking to aparna thank you so much for coming to medicine thank you smita for bringing me over here thank you thank you so much